a 60 year old man with severe persistent asthma since age 14 presents with acute exacerbation of shortness of breath wheezing coughing over last several days his asthmatic symptoms are usually well controlled with regular high inhaled high dose inhaled triamcinolone but over last last week he developed nocturnal cough mild wheezing despite compliance uh, several spirometry suggest bronchial asthma with partial irreversible airway obstruction which of the following is most likely to be associated with recent loss of asthma control airway epithelial shedding airway smooth muscle atrophy airway remodeling airway inflammation airway hyper responsiveness so basically in this question um, the summary of the question is that a man with chronic asthma comes to clinic and says that i am asthmatic i have been taking treatment but suddenly uh, now i think that the treatment is not responding to that amount to to the equivalent amount as it used to do despite good compliance um spirometry shows bronchial asthma with partial irreversible airway obstruction so basically this patient is having loss of asthma control and on spirometry we see that there is irreversible airway obstruction so what is the reason of loss of um, asthma control so basically answer here was um, c airway remodeling but maximum responses pointed towards e airway hyper responsiveness so let's try to understand what basically they wanted you to know so yeah so basically they show they have um said that this this patient is having asthma um and uh, on on airway you will find airway obstruction on on spirometry if if the obstruction is irreversible basically um irreversible or partially reversible on bronchodilation it means that um the um the obstruction is now permanent the, the amount of obstruction that cannot be reversed is permanent and that occurs due to remodeling if if the bronchodilation is reversible on spirometry oh, sorry if the obstruction is reversible on uh, spirometry after bronchodilation it means that it is either due to inflammation or hyper responsiveness or shedding of epithelium anything so here in this question they uh, clearly mentioned that this patient had irreversible partially irreversible uh, obstruction and also this is a long standing case of asthma so um, the answer points towards airway remodeling so basically here they have given how airway remodeling occurs so basically if you have a mild asthma you are going to have minimal fibrosis minimal muscle thickness which is not going to cause um, constant obstruction basically constant decrease in lumen does not occur over here but when you have long standing asthma chronic asthma there is large amount of muscle hypertrophy which decreases the lumen size there is increased fibrosis increased inflammatory cell and increased mucus so basically even if i give this patient bronchodilator there will be some amount of dilation of the bronchus but not completely to the normal uh, amount to the um, to the to the amount that will occur in my asthma so uh, just quickly put in the chat box if, if it is clear whether uh, why the answer is airway remodeling and not airway hyper responsiveness if it's clear just write a yes so so what was important here was this partially irreversible airway obstruction if there is any question just put yeah so i think there's no question for this one so other option airway epithelial shedding it occurs in asthma but it will cause reversible um airway obstruction 
airway smooth muscle atrophy this this option is overall wrong because there is no atrophy in asthma of smooth muscle of bronchioles there is hypertrophy there is no atrophy airway inflammation again can cause reversible um, airway obstruction and airway hyper responsiveness also causes reversible obstruction thanks for watching please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more